In today's video, I will show you how to use filters in Google Data Studio. All filters and controls are hidden behind this drop down element uh, at a control. And we will start with the date range control. Uh, the date range control helping us uh, to filter charts by dates, and it is one of the most uh, common filters. Uh, here I can choose uh, uh, the default. Uh, date range it can be last seven days or last 30 days and um, or some custom date range if i choose one of these options the chart will be adjusted accordingly another type of filter uh, drop down list i can search for the page title or also i can choose only a specific uh, page title. In the edit mode I can uh, adjust uh, the dimension and uh, metrics. Uh, fixed size list uh, is another type of drop-down field. The difference between fixed size list and drop-down filter is uh, that uh, we can see the full list of options on the page. Here is how it will look in the view mode. The next two types of filters are search bo are input box and uh, advanced filter. Input box, you can uh, just uh, type your value and charts will be adjusted. For the advanced filter, you can do the same, but you can uh, search data by using, uh, for instance, regular expression equals contains separator start with also, uh, we can use uh, as a checkbox filter to uh, filter our data, but it only works with uh, Boolean values. So it, it should be true or false. If you want to filter only one table or chart, you can use a table filter to do it. Here I need to scroll down and click at a filter. And here I can specify um, uh, the dimension that I want to use. For instance, it will be a mobile device category mobile. Then I press save and the filter will be applied. Last but not least, interactive filter is another great option to filter data. To enable it, I need to click on a chart and then choose uh, interactions and apply filter. And then I go into the view mode. And here, if I click on the pie chart, uh, the table will be filtered as well. I hope that this video was useful. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel not to miss new videos about uh, Data Studio. If you need help with uh, Google Data Studio, check links in the description below.